Talking with former Razorback Peyton Chadwick and Peyton, news coming out on Tuesday about the Olympics getting postponed. What were your thoughts when you heard that news? Yeah, um, so yesterday, I mean, before that, we all kind of knew it was either going to be postponed uh, to either October or to next year. Um, and so we actually, athletes were sent a survey on what they think should be done, and they presented that to the IOC. And um, I, I chose for it to be 2021 just because last year the athletes were training all the way till October. It was a long time. And this year, I don't think everybody wanted to do that, especially with no access to facilities or anything. So initially, I was I kind of knew that was going to happen. Um, yeah, it kind of stinks because this year I would have had a better shot. But obviously now I have another year at training towards the Olympics 2020, but 21. Yeah, Sandy Moore is very vocal even before this about how she thought it needed to get postponed to 2021. You think this is the right thing to do? I, I think so, just for the safety of everybody and just with nobody being able to really train and do what they need to do to prepare, even for the trials. I mean, nobody's going to have races and nobody will be... I guess like clean and at their peak. So, I mean, it'll just, it would just be tough. And you mentioned, you know, it might be harder next year. You're in peak shape right now, have to wait a year. Um, do you feel like you're on the top of your game right now? Um, yeah, so this year the training has been a little different because in college, you know, I did multiple events. I was doing the four by four, four by one. Um, so it's been a little bit different. And so I've been able to hurdle more so I felt I felt ready because I, I did well at the USA Championships indoor. I got uh, silver and almost matched my personal best. So I was ready to uh, compete and do the 100 meter hurdles and see where I was at compared to last year. Um, so yeah, it kind of sinks and hopefully we'll be able to have some meets. I don't know when that'll be. Even my agent doesn't know um, when we'll be able to compete again. But um, right now, I'm just trying to stay in shape. I know a school shutting down could not train at the University of Arkansas. A lot of athletes have had, a, had to find other places to train. Where are you training right now? Uh, yeah, I'm in Texas. And the weather here is obviously, it's a little bit better. So um, I've been able to find some, pla some local places. And I've been fortunate enough because um, my husband knows a lot of people. So um, I've had access to a a few places um but it's still it's still not ideal because i don't have my coach here and back home they're just they're using the hills and uh the gardens which is at the university um but you can't do much with that like we need uh, a track and we need to be able to go over hurdles obviously so it's tough <laughs> So how are you feeling about everything that's happening? Um, and then what are you doing with your time now that you found a little bit more free time with this postponement? Yeah, so I haven't been getting that upset because obviously I know that there's a reason for everything. I don't know why this is happening or the timing, but obviously there's a reason. So um, I've just been trying to remain positive and yes, yeah, spend time with family. And that's what I'm doing right now. I never get to spend time with my husband's family and I've gotten to be here for almost a week now and we've cooked dinner together because you know we can't really go to restaurants so we've cooked done lots of things together gotten to know each other better um so that's been really positive and nice and then this summer i'm i guess i'll get to maybe go on a vacation somewhere i haven't really done that in a long time so that's also been really nice um and a positive out of all of this yeah a lot of people are talking about when sports does come back it'll come back even bigger than it has before so the Olympics being postponed a year do you feel like when it does come in 2021 that this could possibly be one of the most um, viewed watched attended Olympics oh yeah I think so and it's the first time that this has ever happened in history so people are going to want to make history and try and be there and um, all of that so I think it's I think sports are going to blow up whenever they start happening again. It'll blow up and the viewers and the people attending, it'll be crazy. I think it'll be great for the University of Arkansas as well. I think especially 
you know, baseball, football, I think everybody's going to try and be out there because everybody was bored to death without sports. So I wanted to ask you, too, I know, you know, some athletes still at the University of Arkansas, uh, their season getting cut short, not having an outdoor season, and they may or may not get their um, year back if they are seniors um, and then of course out uh, indoors the women not being able to defend that indoor national title your your thoughts on that and your thoughts to your teammates yeah that's really upsetting um, I, I feel my heart goes out to all the the seniors and even the juniors you know that finally felt like they were going to be able to make uh, the national team or whatever and then of course Arkansas winning another national championship or SEC title and that was kind of taken away but if those girls come back next year um and they're fortunate enough to be able to do that i mean i think the team will be amazing once again i think arkansas could be on top once again um i know some of them are upset but they're also kind of you know just for the safety and health of everybody they understand but um obviously it's been tough especially for collegians because they really can't train anywhere or with the coach at all so everything's just on their own or whatever they can do. And last question for you, Peyton, just want to ask you about your coach, Lance Harder, what he's been able to build at Arkansas, the things he's been able to do with this women's program. Your thoughts on your coach? So Coach Harder always says he, uh, as a group of coaches, they kind of bring together their strength. Coach Compton with the pole vaulters, Coach Johnson with the sprinters and hurdlers, and Coach Harder with the uh, – Distance girls, they all come together, it seems seems like, at big meets, and they pull it off and uh, put everything together. Um, but that's what Coach Harder has built. He has built success from multiple angles, and it works for the team. And he, I think, remains hopeful and remains hopeful for the next year, and he knows that you know Arkansas always does its job. So I think he uh, is remaining hopeful and positive for next year that he can pull it off again. Well, Peyton, thanks a lot. We appreciate the time.